Okay, guys. Now that we've gotten our lining all sewn together and gotten all the seams pressed, what we're going to do, we're going to take the lining and we're going to actually put it in the jacket together. This is gonna be very simple. If you just pay attention to what I'm gonna tell you, this is gonna go very smoothly for you. We're gonna start right with the hood. We're gonna go the center seam. Right in the top, the top of your hood. The center seam to the center seam. And you're gonna pin that, pin the right sides together. You should be looking at the actual seam, so you should be looking at the inside of your lining. And you're gonna pin that, come all the way down around your hood to where your zipper actually starts. And you can't miss it, because that's actually where your seams are, so. Seam to seam. You'll go down once, down the right side, then you'll go down the left side. And remember, you guys who actually have the pet, the who have the batting, you've actually cut back on your batting. So your batting is actually not going to meet all the way around. So you're actually you cut. I'll have you cut back. So you can actually work easy with it and not have the stitch and trying to flip all of that batting. So your batting is actually going to be back a little bit. So don't be alarmed by that. You're going to do a quick whip stitch that will actually get that right back to make sure it stays. And I'll show you what that is. I'll show you. But that's basically, that's on one side, that's what you should actually be looking at. And you're gonna do that to the other side as well. Okay, once you get your whole hood pinned in, you're gonna take it to the machine, you're gonna do five eighths inch seam, starting from that point all the way around. Okay, and that's what you should be looking, looking at once you get it all stitched in all the way around. You're going to then, Take your lining and flip your complete lining over. And it's going to give you, see that clean edge. You'll have that clean edge for your hood. You're going to flip your whole hood inside. Now, what we're going to do here, you got to do this by hand. Well, you don't, yeah, you should do this by hand. It's going to be easier to do this by hand, I believe. Okay, once you go ahead and flip, flip your hood over, you're going to take and bring it down. You're going to bring neckline to neckline. So you're going to take that seam that you have here, going all the way around the lining and your jacket. You're going to put them together. You're going to pin them together, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually run a really quick stitch around there at about a quarter inch. It's going to be a quarter inch, and we're going to stitch them basically to hold it down so that whenever you're doing anything with your jacket, that it's not just loose, like two pieces loose. It's actually going to attach it and hold everything together. So we're going to go ahead and pin that all the way around. Go ahead and pin your neckline all the way around. Just follow your seam and follow your your actual, your uh,
Okay, once you flip your hood over, you're going to come down and attach neckline to neckline. And you're going to pin it just like I have it done here. All the way around. Pin that all the way in. And what we're going to do is you're going to go to the machine and you're just going to stitch at a, a half inch all the way around. And that's just to literally hold the hood down so when you're maneuvering around your jacket, the two pieces aren't flopping. It's keeping everything together. You're going to leave a little space between maybe about a two inch space before I pass the zipper because you're going to work with that later. Don't worry about that. Go about two inches in and then stitch from one end all the way around to the other end. And that's going to be found on the inside. So make sure you're only stitching on the inside. You don't want to go past where your, your original seam was, okay? And take your time. And this is a little thicker, so you definitely want to take your time on the machine with this. Go a little slow to make sure you're not stitching anything that you shouldn't be stitching. Now is definitely not time to be making a mistake. And it should be pretty easy for you because you can see exactly where you've actually sewed prior. So you should be fine. Just take your time. Don't be afraid. If you're not comfortable with this, you can actually do this by hand. If you're not comfortable with this or it's getting a little too thick for you, depending on what fabric you use, you can actually do this part by hand. You can actually do a quick whip stitch with the needle and thread. For all those of you who are actually using the batting, do you remember where we were cutting on our hood? We actually cut the batting back away from the edge. I'm going to have you to actually do a quick whip stitch with a needle and thread right at the edge of where you cut your batting. And you're not going to stick the needle all the way through because you don't want to see the stitches on the other side. You're just going to catch a little bit of thread and just whip stitch all the way down just to keep your batting in place. Doesn't have to be all the neatest because it's never going to actually be seen. It's just to stabilize, that's all. Do not forget to do that before we move on to the next step. You want all layers of fabric secure underneath your lining. You don't want anything to be flopping around inside of your lining. Okay, see, pretty simple. Okay, now, let's come down and bring the rest of our lining through. You're gonna literally take your sleeves and push them into the sleeve holes. That's it, that's what you should be looking at. Your full lining inside of your jacket. Okay, so now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna come back to where we started stitching on the hood and we're gonna to start to clean up. We're going to flip this over and you're going to flip your lining under the inch and you're going to pin that right down along your zip. Like so. You're going to do that all the way down to the bottom of your zipper. Well, basically all the way to the bottom of your coat. And that's just what we're doing is we're literally closing our lining. And again, this is where you get to make choices. Once you get this pinned in, you get to decide whether you want to close this up by doing a whip stitch by hand or if you want a top stitch on the machine. It's absolutely up to you. And it really depends on your fabric that you've used. Do you want an actual top stitch to show on the outside or do you not? That's actually, it's really, it's up to you. Okay, guys, right here, you can actually see at the zipper tape, I'm actually going to do a slip stitch 
right up that zipper tape. I'm going to do mine by hand. I just decided I want to do mine by hand because it's just a neater finish. And I don't want a top stitch showing on the outside of my jacket. So that's where I'm actually going to do to actually close my lining up. You could actually do it that way or you could actually do it a top stitch which goes through all of the, the layers right on the machine. It's actually up to you. If you're using like denim or something like that, a top stitch is really, really good. It looks really, really nice. On this faux fur, I don't think it would look as nice or as professional. So that's why I'm gonna just do it with a needle and thread. All right, guys. Okay, you guys. Now that we've gotten that all done, this is what everything should look like. When you're done, that's the outside, there's the inside. Like I said, when you're done with this garment, you'll be able to wear it inside out. And that's how you know things are correct. Anything that you're actually sewing, it should be neat and it should be clean and you should be able to turn it inside out and wear it inside out and it look finished on the inside the same way it looks finished on the outside. Now, I'm not, I'm not speaking of reversible clothing. I'm just saying as far as neatly done, seams finished, um, just everything done in a neat, clean, professional manner. You'll always hear me say it. You'll hear me say it over and over. If you cannot wear it inside out, then it's not done. If you turn it inside out and there's seams and, and threads hanging and things are crooked and all of this kind of thing, or you feel like you need to hide the inside of it, then that's not right. That's wrong. And that's not done well. So... Once you, how I know things are done and done properly, when I can turn around and wear it inside out, then it's done right. So that's that's where I'm gonna try to take you to. You know what I mean? That's that's it. That's, there is no other option. So now, last thing that we need to do. Remember, we still have to finish our cuff, and we have to finish the bottom edge of the jacket. And we talked about it. We're going to actually do elastic. So in order to do elastic, there has to be a casing where the elastic goes. Now I'm going to introduce you to a thing that we actually call facing. Now, what we actually did, I, I could have actually showed you how to do facings in a pattern form when we were actually making the pattern, but I didn't want to confuse you because this is something that, um, like I said, it's very, it's an easy project, it's a DIY project. I didn't want to confuse the whole pattern making part of this. So we're going to actually freehand this now. We're going to do facing. Facings on our sleeves, on the cuffs, and a facing on the bottom. That's what these are. Now, for this, you actually just need a piece of your fabric, and you can use your lining, or you could actually use the same fabric. If you have like denim, you definitely use denim to do your facing with. You're going to actually cut a piece. It's actually going to measure three and three quarter inches wide. And then it's literally going to be the length of the bottom of your jacket. So whatever the length all the way across, when you measure all the way across the bottom of your jacket, you're going to go that length by three and three quarters inches, and then you're just going to cut that strip. You're going to actually do it in the fabric, and if your fabric is actually thin, which mine is a little thinner, my, my inside, I'm using fabric that's basically similar to my lining, but a little bit thicker, but it's still flimsy. I use some fusible interfacing to actually thicken it up. That's what you see the white on the one side and the blue is the fabric. And you just fuse it right to it and that just thickens it up and gives it some more weight. So it's not so flimsy. We're gonna actually take this face and we're gonna start with the bottom. So you're gonna take the bottom of your jacket and you're gonna start on one end and you're gonna literally use, I'm going to have you fold down five eighths of an inch and press it. Because what we're going to do, we're going to sew this edge 
to the, the raw edge. So the bottom, the raw edge to the bottom edge of your jacket. Once it's sewn, we're going to flip it over. And that's going to create our casing. We're going to flip it over to the inside of the jacket. We're going to stitch across. It's going to form a casing. And in that casing is where we're going to actually slide our elastic. I'm going to show you, so don't worry about it. So this is what you're going to do for me. Create your casing. Fold down five-eighths of an inch. Press it. Come back to your jacket. Start on one edge, and we're going to begin pinning all the way across. And when you actually measure your bottom edge of your jacket, you need to give five-eighths of an inch on the end. Five-eighths of an inch on the end, because remember, we're going to have to fold it over so we can actually finish. So five-eighths of an inch extra, plus the, the length three and three quarters inches wide. You're gonna leave that five eighths of an inch hang over and you're gonna begin pinning. So once you get your facing pinned in, we're gonna take it to the machine and we're gonna stitch it all the way around. Take your time while you're doing this because you're stitching through all the thickness there and you're making sure Keep looking back to make sure that you're not bunching anything up, that everything is actually stitching and laying smooth. And that's what that should look like when you get that. Now you're going to actually take it now, flip it over, and you're going to top stitch. You're going to press the seam downward, and you're going to top stitch just about an eighth of an inch away from that actual seam. Just to flatten this out so when you flip it over, it'll just lay smooth. Very simple. Nothing made. Just about an eighth of an inch right from the end. And you'll see how it just smooths that seam out. Flattens out some of that bulkiness. You're definitely going to thank me for this when you go to put this elastic in. You won't be getting your elastic hot and a bunch of seam lines. And it just looks a lot nicer. Make sure you're checking that you don't stitch over anything that you shouldn't be stitching over. You don't want to catch your lining. Okay, and careful when you're getting to the other end. Remember, you got a zipper down there, so be careful not to run into your zipper. You shouldn't be anywhere near it, but just pay attention. Pay attention. Be mindful that it's actually there. You don't want to run into your zipper. Running into zippers breaks the knees. Breaking needles costs money and time. Okay, and that's what that should actually look like when you are done. Now, the next step is to take this facing. You want to make sure that your jacket and lining are laying flat. And you're just going to turn the facing up. And you're going to pen that right in. And as you're doing that, you can see what I was saying about it literally making a casing for your elastic. You're, we're going to stitch, and then we're just going to slide your elastic on the right edge in. down here. You're going to fold it. Fold it back clean. Turn it right up. Everything is enclosed in very neatly and very clean just the way I like. And you're gonna just go ahead and continue pinning that all the way across the back of your jacket. Make sure your jacket is laying flat. Make sure you are not catching up anything that shouldn't be caught up in your casing. And you're gonna double check it when, before you go to the machine and start setting. This is what this should look like when you are done pinning it in. Totally clean. And 
you want to go ahead and check. Check everything before you stitch. Because once you stitch it, that's it. Want to make sure your facings are meeting up. Want to make sure everything is clean. You see that? Everything's clean before you go to the machine. Clean before you go to the machine. Once you go to the machine, it's a wrap. Can't take it back on certain fabrics. Some fabrics you could do it. My fabric, I wouldn't be able to take it back. Once the mistake is made, that will be it. Now we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna to go to the machine, you're gonna take your time because you're going to literally stitch through all thicknesses. So you're gonna take your time with this. Take your time, guys. There's no rush. You have made perfectly good time on this garment. And you're gonna leave the opening, leave the hole open there. That's where we're gonna be feeding our elastic through. You're going to go right there to the fold and you're going to stitch through all thicknesses of the fabric right there in that fold that you made on your face. Just take your time and feed it on through. Don't be scared. It's going to be fine. Make sure you keep your jacket straight underneath and you're good to go. Remember, we've been doing it this whole time. Every so often, you check your bottom to make sure you're not stitching over anything that you shouldn't. And nothing is folded underneath. It's a very common mistake that people make. Things will, they're trying to fa do too fast, go too fast, and the fabric will fold underneath and makes a disaster. Happens way too often, trust me when I tell you. That's why I always say, take your time, take your time. I know you get tired of hearing me say it, but in the long run, you'll be glad I said it. And keep checking underneath. You'll be so glad that you heard me say it 9,000 times. That would probably be pretty fun to try to see exactly how many times in this video I say it. Check underneath and <laughs> how many times I said to take the time. I know it was a lot. And I definitely have to say, you guys who are actually using the batting to make the heavier jackets, kudos to you. You are definitely earning your bragging rights. It's a fairly simple design, but when you add the batting, it kind of steps it up a notch. So, kudos to you guys. Cannot wait to see the pictures of what you guys actually came up with. Okay. See that? If you take your time, it's just one stitch right through. And it's straight right across the bottom. And just like that, the bottom of your jacket is done. The hem of your jacket is complete. All we have to do now is to feed the elastic through that the actual hem of your garment is complete. Now, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna get a safety pin. You're gonna take your elastic and wherever your jacket is supposed to fit you at, around your waist or around your hips, wherever your jacket is supposed to fit, you're gonna take your elastic and you're going to wrap the elastic around and you're going to pull it all the way around you, and then pull it snug. Not tight, but snug, okay? And that's where you're gonna mark, that's where you're going to actually cut the elastic. That's how long you're gonna make the elastic. And that's, that's how much, you'll, you'll know how tight you want your jacket to actually fit you. You don't wanna make it too tight because it's gonna be a mess. It'll be too tight and it'll be popping and seams will be bursted and, your elastic eventually will rip and it's gonna screw up your zipper. You want it to be comfortable and snug. And that's where you'll actually pull the elastic to where it's snug. That's gonna be the length of your elastic. Whenever you get to the snug measurement around your waist or your hips or wherever you want your jacket to, to fall, 
you're going to add an inch to that measurement and that's where you'll actually cut your elastic. That extra inch is actually giving you the room to actually go ahead and stitch to actually to hold your elastic and I'll show you that. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to take a regular safety pin, fold the edge of your elastic over, place the pin through the elastic, close it, and you're going to start on one side and just begin to feed the elastic through, making sure that you're keeping the elastic straight, that you're not letting it fold over or anything fancy or funky underneath there. Just keep it as straight and just pull it through. And just take your time. Take your time and slide that through. You'll actually feel, you can feel the elastic as it's sliding and you'll be feeling for the actual safety pin as you're pulling. Okay, as you're feeding your elastic through, you're gonna get down to a, a, a period where you're almost out of elastic on this side. You want to pay very close attention because you don't want to lose that end. So when you pull it and it starts to disappear and it gets right in there, can you see that? You're going to take and you're going to close this off, get this zipper teeth out of your way. And that's when you're going to go to the machine and you're going to go in and you're going to lock that down. You're going to stitch all the way through, making sure to catch your elastic. And you can walk your machine because it's a lot of thickness there. Go ahead and walk your machine. But it's very important to make sure that you are catching the elastic and back. Now what I do is I actually, I do a bit of what I call, it's like a box. I turn, I wanna come down across, probably about a half of an inch. And I wanna turn all of this around, and stitch all the way down. I wanna make sure I get that elastic locked in there really good. And my elastic is going to be very, very sturdy. I'm going to show you the box. I actually have stitched down and around literally in a box and then I crisscross over the box. Can you see that? My elastic is not going anywhere. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and finish feeding your elastic to the other side. And when you get to the other side, you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Yeah, everything's going to pretty much be laying pretty still up to this point. And then you're going to start to see it start to rumple up. Which is perfect. Continue pulling. Making sure that your elastic is staying straight. Don't want to let your elastic fold or twist. Making sure your elastic is in. You want to take and go ahead and do the exact same thing you did on the other side and lock your elastic in place. All right, you got your waistband done. And we're going to go on to our sleeves and how we're going to finish off our sleeves. And that's actually it. That's the last thing that we have to do is how to finish off the cuffs and put the elastic in our cuffs. But this is definitely what the bottom of your jacket should actually look like at this point. That's what you should have. Like I said, you'll be able to wear it inside out. You should be very proud of yourself at this point. You guys have done a good job. That's it. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's move on to our sleeve, guys. This sleeve is actually gonna be pretty simple. We're actually going to go right in, 
You've actually slid the sleeves down. The two seams should be matching. You're gonna go right in, take your facing, slide your sleeve through your facing. Your face is gonna be on the outside, and you're gonna pin it all the way around. You go right inside here, pin your sleeve facing in. You're gonna stitch around the bottom. You're gonna do it exactly the same way you did the bottom of your jacket. Only difference is you're only, you're working in a circle. That's the only difference, is that now we're working in a circle. That's it. Other than that, it's all the same. Okay, guys, last thing that we're going to do is, like I was explaining, our sleeve. The sleeve is no different than the way that we did the actual bottom of the jacket. Only difference is that it's closed and you're working in a circumference. So you have your, your facing piece and mine is already done. You're going to take it and you're going to lay it exactly, you're going to do everything exactly the same as you did here. You're going to stitch at the bottom, you're going to do the top stitch at an eighth of an inch, you're going to flip it up, you're going to stitch around. When you do the stitch around your circumference of your sleeve, you're going to turn it inside out so you're working on it this way. You're going to stitch around. You're going to leave an opening at least an inch and a half. Leave an opening because that's how you're going to feed your elastic through. You'll feed the elastic through same way with your safety pin. Pull it out. You'll take the two ends of your elastic. You'll take them to the machine and stitch them at a quarter inch. When you cut your elastic, you take your elastic the same way you did around your waist or around your hips, and you'll make it comfortable, snug, and then you're going to add an inch to it. When you actually connect it at the machine, you're going to stitch it together at a quarter inch. So that's actually going to leave, it's actually going to be a half an inch plus your measurement that you want it. It'll be very comfortable around your wrist and you'll be good to go. Now, once you do that, you'll go ahead and pull it, pull it all the way through, and then you'll stitch close, and then guess what? Your jacket is actually done. And that's basically what it'll look like on the inside. You'll be done. Remember I told you you'd be able to wear your jacket inside out? That's my full jacket inside out. And yours should look just like this. Facings, everything closed. Everything's closed up. There's no seams showing, no threads hanging. You should be very happy with yourself and happy with what you have actually created. You guys have done a good job watching. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is the outside of my jacket. It's a full jacket. It's all done. I'm proud of you guys for finishing this up, watching the full series, and completing your garment. I can't wait to see the pictures of what you guys have created. Definitely leave me comments below and let me know, did you like the video? Did you not like the video? Um, what can we do to make the video uh, better? Um, is there something that gave you a hard time? Was there something you had questions on? Definitely leave me a comment and you can always email me at spillitboy at gmail.com if you have questions or if there's something that you don't want to leave in the comments and you want me to get it directly, just go ahead and send it to my email. All right? So, thank you so much for participating. I appreciate it. And I'm going to leave for now, but I'll see you soon with something else. See you guys.